Hey guys, my name is Ibrahim and today I'm going to be showing you my HP DL380 G6 server. Um, I have a full width dual height graphics card here and I'm going to show you how to get it installed in the system and how to get it to work properly. Online a lot of people are confused about whether you can actually fit a full size graphics card like this into the server so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, one of the reasons you're going to want to do this is because a system like this has a high core count and has loads of RAM. So compared to a workstation, you're going to be paying a lot of money compared to one of these cheap old servers. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to open it up now and how to get it installed correctly. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, just taking this apart now. I've loosened all the screws, so it's super fast for now. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do a more comprehensive tutorial on how to administer the system at a later date. Your riser card is probably going to be in this configuration over here, but that's not going to work for us because your full high graphics card will bump into the power supplies. So I'm going to move it over here. To move it, you just loosen this one screw and pull it out. and screw it back in. Now, when you're putting the graphics card in, you'll notice the front plate, right on the front here, it, it bumps into the back plate of the server. So it won't actually fit. And the way we get around that is we take this front plate off. And to do that, you just get like uh, one of these and loosen the DVI screws and once you've loosened them you can just take them out very easily you need a screwdriver as well You see the front plate will come loose and now we can plug it in. To do so you just slide it in really easily and done. Now an issue we may have with this is that the graphics card is now hanging on its own weight and a few solutions to remedy that is to put something here so that it bumps against the motherboard and holds it up or another way to do it is these screw holes. Uh, if we were to bend them, it would push against this thing and it would stop the card from floating in that way. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it. And it does just work as it is, so you could just leave it floating as it were. So I'm going to put this all back together and stick a HDMI in and I'll show you that this graphics card, which requires no external power, just 75 watts, is going to work perfectly in this system. Okay, so I'm going to plug the power back in. And something to note right now is that your VGA output is no longer going to work. So you have to plug into the graphics card. So I've got a HDMI for my monitor right now and I'm going to stick it into the HDMI on the graphics card and we should be good to go. So I'm going to boot this now and I'll show you that it's working. Okay, so I'm going to boot the system now. And we should have something posting for the screen very quickly. There we go. Okay, from this point it should be exactly the same as a normal boot on the Prolium. Uh, however, when you get into um, the operating system, uh, you will need to <laughs> install the drivers again. 
for your particular graphics card. It's going to be running on Windows Basic adapter graphics driver once you're inside. So just go to NVIDIA or I think it should work for AMD as well and download the drivers there and you should be good to go. That's not what I want.